What is T? No, not the letter T. <laughs> T, as in, I like to drink tea. I know that it's a caffeinated beverage, usually served hot in a cup or really, really cold in a jug with ice and all sweetened. Most people in North America drink coffee. You're not gonna go to Starbucks and order a tea, you fucking idiot. I made my own cup of tea and it tasted okay. So why does the rest of the world prefer tea? These questions were really bugging me. So I flew to England to find out what tea even is. My trip started in London. Ah yes, gay London. I was walking around this very strange and interesting city with thousands of years of interesting history. I stumbled upon a very curious sight. Many people surrounding a building, all drinking a mysterious liquid. They weren't drinking tea, they were drinking beer. I thought, hey, while I'm in London, I better do what the London people do. So I tried one, and boy, did I love it. I maybe loved it too much, too much, too much. I'm so deep, but I need to go deeper. London chewed me up and spat me out. I don't know what came over me. I came to London with a mission and I'm going to complete it. I needed to find out why people love tea. I made my way to the Wallace. It's a beautiful museum with old antiques and furniture and statues. They also have a really expensive tea room. I checked out the menu. I checked out the scenery. It was delightful. It was quite a change from all that evil beer. In fact, it was quite lovely. I felt at ease. Such nice desserts. I took a sip and turns out it tastes okay too. I flew halfway across the fucking world, spent thousands of dollars, ruined my liver, and turns out tea tastes exactly the same here as it does at home. I learned nothing. Despite this, I'm glad I came. I wish I could say I'll never forget you, London, but with all the beer drinking and brain damage that occurred, I'll probably have memory issues for the rest of my life. And as for tea, I'm an alcoholic now. Hey.